make this shell pin, I just cut a small piece of wire. You can make these shell pins large or small. One end of the wire, I'm just going to make a loop like that. And then I just thread it on some beads. These are just small beads, but you could use larger beads or wooden beads, colored beads, and even these large wooden beads. So after you get your beads threaded onto your wire, you're just going to bring this around into a circle, and you're going to pass the end of your wire through that first loop that you made, and then close this end up with a loop as well. So you'll have something that looks like this. So then you're just going to take, so that this is in the center, sort of directly across, and you're just going to bring these together like that and shape it into a figure eight. And you can either make a pin with a bamboo skewer, and I showed how to do this in my other video. Cut the end so it won't be sharp. Sand it off with an emery board. And I just cut this length off with ordinary scissors. And then you just shape this down so that it's rounded off like that. Now you can place that on your knit or crochet shawl and pass your pin through. So you can either use a pin like this or you can make a pin like this with wire and I showed how to do that in my other video. And that would work the same way where you pass it through your knitting like that and then you have a shawl pin. And on a large one like this you could use a small dowel or even an empty ballpoint pen. And to make a stopper on the end of the pegs, you can simply pass a bead on there, put some Elmer's glue on the end. If this is too big to place in your bead, you can whittle it down with a razor knife, or if it's too small, you could just wrap a little bit of yarn around it first. So I'm just going to slide that on, fill up the end here as well, like that, and I'm going to let that dry, and that will make a stopper so that your peg does not fall out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.